A quick reminder, if you're enjoying the videos, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. So my main project for today is to come and scrape out most of this silt and stuff like that, all this grass in the canal, this choke point here by the culvert. I'll come and scrape it all up while it's still soft and then uh, hopefully we'll get better flow. I won't, I won't scrape up at the top here, but I'll leave, I'll scrape down here, get rid of all this grass and clean up all the way up to the, the, the embankment there. So I'm going to clean up all here and scrape all the way up to the embankment there, take out all the silt and everything that's in the canal. All right, I'm going to go and get my barrow and my shovels and stuff and get going. So cleaning out the canal project has started. I'm almost at the culvert now. I've come all the way from that gate over there. Ah, it's hot work out here, folks. Hot work. But got to get these canals clean so that we get the nice water flow. Going to pull out all these, these weeds and bushes and stuff and keep going down till I get to the culvert. So almost done, almost at the culvert. I've been at this for about an hour now. Getting there slowly, it's starting to look good. Looking much, much better than it did. So we'll have better water flow through here. I just have to be careful when I get to the culvert that I don't pull too much sand away because I don't want it to start eroding into the culvert because we need that culvert there. And then I need to be careful at the end there where we've got our little block for the, the, the water to go through that I don't go too close to that and cause erosion there. So some thinking will have to be done. So finished up to the culvert here. I've decided to leave this grass on both sides. So the soil's got something to adhere to and uh, we don't erode our culvert away. When I cleaned that out, got rid of all the mud and everything that was in there. There was a lot of water trapped in there and it all backflowed into the canal. That's okay though. At least it's done this side. Now just my side left to do. Okay, so my port's here and I've got to clean up down that way. I don't want to interfere too much on this side because I like what's going on here about with the growth and stuff like that to keep that little ditch stopper in place. So I might even bring some of the grass that I uproot and try and plant it on this thing here and see what happens. And then I'll just have to keep it short so it doesn't interfere with the water flow. So I've got to clean up all this mud in here. It's, uh, it's hard, hard work, but it's so satisfying when you see the result. So when you look like over here and I've got all this to do, but then on that side I had, I had even more to do and uh, it's done. And then you look back on it and it's just so satisfying. It's so nice. Okay, so folks, I got to my, my, my point. I'd set myself for a water break. It's time for a water break. Almost at the culvert, almost there. Got all this done. What I did was I took a huge clump of grass and uh, planted it here. I think I might plant some more of it further up just so the grass can start growing on there and make that more solid. And then uh, we'll see if that was a bad idea in a couple of months time. But yep, this is the section done. And I don't know if you guys can see, but you can actually see there's still a lot of water in the culvert there. Um, hang on. So if you can see in the culvert, there's still a lot of water in there. So, we may have to get a skinny person to dig inside there, go in there and maybe one Liam or Gavin can come and do it for us. Crawl in there and dig out the mud when it's all dry. <laughs> okay, we are done. Uh, Got to get that culvert cleaned inside. But that's the water that's remaining coming out now. But at least this ditch is done. Whew. That was tough, man. That was a tough job. Make the irrigation easier though, a lot easier. Water will flow nicely. So we just delivered our hay. We took it off the truck. 
and I've just got it covered. And then what's crazy is both times we've got hay at Delani, we've had rain and I've had to cover it. You can see the rain. Oh man, it's actually coming down. It's raining really hard. I don't know what Kiara's doing. Kiara, what are you doing? Come on! It's actually raining really hard now. It's actually making Kiara run! Why are you running, baby? You, you, you can't avoid it. amazing so Linz and Kiara have come are taking the truck back up to the house with Brody I'm just gonna stay with the boys for a bit there's another another storm front moving in we had to settle the dust and then uh, there goes Linz and them and there the boys are and then those are the those are the plans we've had to make to cover the, the, the hay so the rain don't get it the cicadas are going this year they actually mean rain when they're chirping Last year, they kept faking me. I'd hear these dudes, I'd get excited and we got no rain last year. I said, no, you know, that one video, I said 110 days with no rain. 110 people. This year we've already had two storms. Well, not really storms, but we've had rain twice. <laughs> Here in the, in the desert, we get excited for this little bit of rain. Gonna be on the news tonight and everything they're gonna have a storm a storm vehicle chasing this this rain and stuff like that you're gonna see yeah that's big rain it's getting closer and closer i'm in two minds i want to stay with my boys but hey i can watch them from the house <laughs> i think i'm gonna go in and i'll keep an eye on them with the binoculars from the house lightning earlier on, a lot of lightning. Yeah, that's a big rain coming. Yeah, I'm going in. So the horses have had a torrid time with mosquitoes. So we've, we've worked out, uh, we've, we're trying a new thing. An applicator that, that Lindsay found the other day. It's like a how long does it last, babe? 14 days. So they say. So Lindsay's just applying it. She's watched a YouTube video on how to do it. We're gonna put this on and spray them because it's it's been so so bad. So she's putting it on bird because bird has been suffering the worst with the mosquitoes. Could run? I think Kiara, go and put this halter on, baby. Because they're looking for a way to get out. So he knows what you want now. Hey, no. 
So just put your hand underneath his legs. Yeah, there you go. Very good, very good. Oh, it's okay, make him go again. Well done, well done. So it's 10 p.m. I'm going out to check the boys. Uh, I don't know if you guys can make out the lightning. That's, that's looking out over the superstitions across Travis's place. And a uh, lot of lightning strikes out there. So hopefully we've got some rain coming in. Um, just watch the weather report. Apparently there's rain on the 101 and the 17. So I think this pop-up shower is going to pop up all over the show. So hopefully we'll get some. There you go. There's a good lightning strike right there. So I've just come to do a final check on the boys. Make sure everybody's settled and nice. These guys are really still getting hammered by the mosquitoes. They're pacing, but not pacing as badly as they were couple of nights ago so they come and they stand for a bit and they stand and then the mosquitoes just make them pace again so I've doused them with mosquito spray and it seems to have like stopped the pacing mosquitoes are still there I can see how they're swishing their tails and stuff but I think all the mosquito spray that I sprayed in the air and stuff like it helps to dissipate them for a bit just give them some kind of reprieve <laughs> Man, it's awful to watch. It's almost better just to stay in the house and not come out here. It's just so sad to see them suffering with the mosquitoes. So finally the mosquitoes have eased off and the boys are back on the pasture. So we've made two long pastures and then we've got a third one back there that we're going to use on the weekends. That's the one I can't put them on right at the back because the grass is higher than my knee. And it's just it's inundated with mosquitoes but I'm hoping like after today and stuff the cycle will be over so we're gonna put them out there for, for an hour tomorrow and then but look how good that pasture looks you guys all right we'll catch you later so th this is the side that's got the, the long grass Tonda won't won't stand look, look at them all on him come bud let's go good horse okay 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 so I mean I've got all this damn long grass and you saw how tundra was for those flipping mosquitoes. They are awful. So I'm, I'm just going to get this cut. I'm going to get it cut and we'll start again from scratch with it. Damn it. <laughs>